<clears throat> so hey there from sunny Arizona the Sun is out as usual so today it's uh, 7 a.m. right now my buddy's coming to pick me up bringing me to Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix from there I am flying to San Diego from San Diego I'm flying to Narita Japan and from Narita Japan I'm flying to Bangkok Thailand and I'm gonna do their test and go scheme. That means I have to stay in a hotel for one night and I have to get a clean COVID test, okay? After that, I will be staying one extra night. Kim is flying up from Koh Samui and then together we are heading to Nepal. So we're going to Kathmandu, Nepal. We'll be there for four or five nights and then we fly to Lukla and then we do the Everest base camp hike. So our time in Nepal is going to be about 21 days. From there, it gets a little interesting because I had tickets from Nepal to Bangkok. Well, those tickets got canceled. Actually, I'm not sure they ever existed. I bought them from a third party company, you know, one of the flight companies or the, the booking companies and then they contacted me and told me it was canceled. I'm questioning if it was ever actually available. But besides that, I am now fly we are now flying to India. We've gotten our visa for India, and we're not 100% sure about their COVID entry requirements. We are only there for two and a half hours, but we had to get a visa because you have to get your bags and then recheck them, go through customs and immigration. So that kind of threw a wrench in the in the works. Then we'll head back to Thailand. We have to do the test and go again. We're gonna be doing it at the Novotel at the airport, and then we're flying to Koh Samui. So, next series of videos you see ought to be pretty interesting and exciting. Um, had no problem getting my Thai pass. My Thai pass for today or tomorrow only took about a day and a half to get. My e-visa, my visa for India only took about a day to get. And the only thing I'm waiting on now is my Thai pass for April 6th uh, back into Thailand. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy all the rest of the videos. There should be some good ones coming up and uh, we'll see you soon. Here at Sky Harbor Airport, Terminal 4, super busy, lots of traffic coming in, lots of people getting out, heading to ticketing and checking in and we'll see you in a bit. So, checking in at the ticket counter was an absolute breeze. I showed him my passport. I showed him my Thailand insurance certificate. I showed him my clear COVID test and my Thai pass. That was all they asked for. And I was prepared and she actually commented. She said, if we had an award to give to the most well-prepared person, you would get that award today. So. Uh, that made me feel good, although I always have anxiety when you get to this stage because you never know if there's some changes you didn't know about or whatever. So, so far, so good. Next stop, City. So, 
safely here in San Diego after a 50 minute flight from Phoenix. like most of the shops are still closed here in Tokyo. So this is what you're greeted with when you come out of customs right after baggage claim. So all the hotel drivers meet you here. Um, during COVID, it's probably a lot different because the hotels actually pick up the majority of the people, but during regular times, there'd probably be a lot more taxis and stuff in this area, which can be kind of intimidating. But that's the way it is. And Gonna be on my way to the hotel here in a couple minutes. Then they walk you out and they've got all the vans out here. So let me just show you the room. This is the Novotel Bangkok Airport Hotel. Let me show you what it looks like outside. This shows you how close it is to the airport. That's the actual control tower. You can see downstairs, I think that's a pool. And nice areas to sit. And you can see the name of the airport right over there. To be honest with you, I can't really say it. Uh, but it's the main airport in Bangkok. So let me tell you about the room. There's room service. And this room was about $140 a night, but that included the test and go. And I'm staying here tonight for one extra night and it's actually another $100. So this is, um, you know, by Thailand standards a little bit than 
places I typically like to stay with, but the convenience factor was high. Being able to just land at the airport and supposedly you can walk here, although not on test and go. So we're gonna test that out because Kim is flying up from Koh Samui this afternoon and pretty sure she's actually going to try to do the walk. Um, see if she can walk here. Hopefully my test results are back and maybe I can go meet her. So that's it. This is the Novotel Bangkok Airport Hotel. So far it's comfortable. I kind of wish at this price that they had included breakfast and stuff. Um, they wanted an extra $19 for breakfast if I when I booked it online. I thought that was high by Thai standards. And then that pizza right there was 360 baht, so it's $12. So the place is definitely on the pricier side. Not a place we typically would stay at. We like the $25, $30 a night places really close to the beach. But we'll talk to you guys soon. See you in a bit. So hey there again. Just switched rooms, so I got my clear COVID test for the test and go portion of the trip and uh, went downstairs and switched rooms just because Kim is coming. Couldn't stay in the quarantine part of the hotel. So let me just show you the new room. Big king bed, you know, pretty basic room. This room was about $100. So, you know, by Thai standards, definitely not the least expensive room I've ever gotten. But the convenience factor's high. They said that the <clears throat> airport is a two minute walk. So we'll put that to a test here in a couple minutes because Kim flight arrives right around one o'clock. Takes off at 11.50 from Koh Samui. If everything goes good, you'll see us together in the next little clip. So hey there, the walk from the Novotel Airport Hotel to the domestic arrivals in the airport was super simple. In a few minutes, Kim's gonna be walking through there. I'll show you what this area looks like. It's pretty quiet. Um, it's similar to the international arrivals, except when you come out of the, when you come out of that area, international arrivals, this area right here is just packed with like hotel people and people arranging rides and stuff like that. So my guess is that when you walk out of the international arrival, it'll look similar to this. Like I just said, I did it yesterday, but you'll walk that way. You'll walk to the left and then I'll show you what to expect. So I'm not a hundred percent sure where international arrivals are in this airport. Kind of looks familiar. Like they might be upstairs like straight up from here, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll let you know if I can figure that out, but I'll show you what a walk looks like to the Novotel Airport Hotel. So no matter where you end up, you wanna look for the airport rail link on the basement floor. And then once you're down there, it should be pretty obvious, but you'll see what it looks like when I uh, do the walk back. Hey, do I know you? Honey. Do I know you? Yeah, I think you do. All right, I'm gonna shut this phone off because we're gonna get nasty. So, like I said, we're gonna follow that right there to the airport rail link. When I came up, I actually came up way down there, but we're gonna go down here and see if this works. So like I said, um, you go all the way down to the basement and then there's signs for the airport hotel. And then once you find these signs, it's pretty easy. So the only difference is, is like I said, I didn't start this video at the international terminal. I started at the domestic uh, arrivals. I think it's probably extreme, very similar. Just get downstairs, down to the basement, follow the signs to the airport hotel. So there's also exchanges, Wi-Fi 
SIM cards, coffee shops, and then this. I thought this was pretty cool on the way in. So I forgot the video actually walking into the hotel, but that's where you walk in right over there. So you come up out of the ground over there, you walk across and you come in this door right here. Just to show you how close we are to the airport, They've got a huge traffic control tower. And our hotel's right there. So when I checked in at Test and Go, there was no breakfast included. But when I checked in on the second night, when I rebooked, I asked them if breakfast is included, and they said yes. So there's a good chance what I'm about to show you is included in the price on a regular stay. We won't know until we're done, but let me turn the camera around and show you. Lots of different pastries. Lots of different drinks. One of my favorite things is their fruit displays. Then they've got oatmeal, muesli, cereal. They've got that. I'm coming back here because look at this. Fruit salad, long dan and syrup with yogurts. The bacon looks great. The potatoes look great. I'm not gonna open all these. But you can see there's lots of all oh, tomatoes, mushrooms or cream sauce, <laughs> chicken sausage, uh, pork sausage. I haven't really seen pork sausage. They've got eggs, they've got all these sauces, they've got waffles. Those look fantastic. They've got French toast. And they've got these steam buns, which we will be eating those. Then they've got Thai food. Stir fried chicken, flat noodles, fried rice with sausage, coffee stand. That's what I'm starting with. So Kim and I came over to the airport to explore the airport a little bit and to help you find the, the Novotel Bangkok Airport Hotel and this is where you come out so if you come out internationally you end up here all these people here are the hotel shuttles for the test and go and right there see that sign well this actually won't do you any good because it's test and go so you'd have to take a shuttle to the hotel even though the hotel is literally a five-minute walk right over there but if you do come and there's no test and go what you do is you follow that right there See where it says airport rail link? You go to the basement, so follow that sign that way. You just go down and there's an underground walkway right through there that goes to the hotel. So that's it. Hope this helps you if you ever get here when test and go is gone, you need to get to the Novotel Hotel. So we were going to 
walk with our luggage to the airport, which is literally less than a five minute walk, but Kim's bag is kind of heavy. She's got a wheel around one, but on top of it, she's got a shoulder bag that she mounted on there. She didn't feel like walking, so we are in the shuttle. And I think the shuttle ride actually takes longer to get to the airport than walking. But at least we're not carrying anything. So we'll see you there. We're, right now, our flight is scheduled to take off at 4.50, but I think it's delayed till 5.50. So that's one thing. So we'll be at the airport for like four hours. We had to check out of the hotel at one. Also, we were just notified that our second attempt to leave Nepal has been canceled. So our first flight directly back to Bangkok was canceled. Made a second flight reservation to India. India and then to Bangkok. Just notified that's canceled, but that is 20 days from now. So not too worried yet. We'll get that taken care of and either see you in the Bangkok airport or on our way to Nepal. Bye. So we're in line for Nepal Air. Looks like a lot of people are headed to Nepal today. So now that we're through security and immigration and stuff, passport control, we're in the departure area. And this is an amazing statue they have here. So, I can just show it to you real quick. And where's Kim? You made it.
So here's our breakfast buffet. Really nice little restaurant, set up buffet style. We arrived last night. It was dark, so we didn't do videos on the way in. But here in the next little bit, when we're done breakfast, I'll walk up, I'll take a video, I'll show you the room, show you the view, and then we'll be done for this. So it's probably gonna be the last video of this clip. That's the entrance to the hotel down there. That's the breakfast restaurant. <clears throat> then they've got this beautiful courtyard. Um, there's a museum here. Uh, but they've got this beautiful courtyard. Looks like some art for sale. Those look like engravings on slate, something like that. Looks like a bar over there because I see a lot of whiskey bottles in that window. And then just a lot of pretty stuff out here. Walk through it real quick. actually up there on the fourth floor mess because we started to unpack a little bit you can see it has laminate wood floors it's got a balcony so there's the garden I was just walking through breakfast is over there pretty cool Construction. So that's it. We've arrived. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. In summary: I flew from Phoenix, Arizona, to San Diego, to Narita, Japan, to Bangkok. I did my test and go in Bangkok. Kim flew up. We stayed an extra night there. And then on to Kathmandu, Nepal. We're gonna be here for three or four days. We're gonna be renting a scooter, doing some tours around Kathmandu, and then on to our Everest Base Camp trek, which is 16 days long. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you soon.